over northern Douglas County and is now moving up through Aurora with all the heavy rain that we've had this past week. And bear in mind, from the Stapleton area uh, down towards southeast Aurora. And again, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and, and delete that severe thunderstorm warning that was allowed to expire. So now we're just dealing with the flash flooding that is going on. And we do know a lot of folks were concerned about the uh, sirens going off in Aurora a little bit ago. City of Aurora tends to do that. They fire off the sirens. Uh, they have not reported any official tornadoes. The Weather Service never had a tornado warning out for Aurora. So again, that's the city of Aurora shooting off the sirens. Perhaps that was in response to the uh, flash flood warning. We're not sure. National Weather Service in Denver has issued a flash flood warning for Western Arapahoe County, Southwestern Denver County, until 7.15 p.m. At 4.21 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, trained weather spotters reported flash flooding and torrential rain in the southeast sections of the Denver metro area. The storms producing the rain were moving slowly to the north and northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Up to two inches of rain have already fallen in the Aurora area, and similar amounts can be expected in 30 to 40 minutes as the storm moves in. Some locations that will experience flooding include Denver, Aurora, Northeastern Lakewood, Centennial, Northeastern Littleton, Englewood, Southeastern Wheatridge, Greenwood Village, Sheridan, Arapahoe Park, and Buckley Air Force Base. This expands and supersedes the previous warning that was in effect for Western Arapahoe County only. Precautionary preparedness actions. Excessive runoff from heavy rainfall will cause flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses as well as other drainage areas and low-lying spots. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most Good, so uh, give me that name again. And uh, Becky's with us from South Metro Fire. Becky, uh, where are you and, and how are you guys handling this? Well, I am at home right now. Um, we're trying to get people to stay off the roads. There's a, we are going on multiple calls of um, people stranded in their cars because of high water on the roads. Um, Parker, the Parker Corridor is one area up Arapahoe. Um, wherever there's low area, there's lots of standing water. So we're asking people to stay off the roads. All right, that, and that is uh, that is always good advice in a situation like this is to be able to, uh, it, you know, at this point now we're looking at uh, uh, just tremendous, tremendous amounts of rain coming down in a short period of time. So now that we have uh, the opportunity to, to assess the situation,